So we're going to this part, task three, um, web page. You're going to create a web page and style sheet to promote recycling plastic waste to the web page. And style sheet must work in a browser, create a new folder called plastic. Okay, and you're going to create is plastic.htm. So we're going to open up new HTML and you're going to save it as, sorry, you're going to save it as and the same folder. We're going to save it as plastic.html, right? So now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make a table which has one, two, three, four rows and two columns. So we're going to make a table that actually has four rows and two columns, a hundred percentage, and I'll just make it one. We will make it zero, but I just want to have the borders while I'm doing my work. So we're going to merge these um, properties. Okay, and then, no, 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 sorry, not these. You can merge these, as you can see. Okay, and we are supposed to have another column over here, so I'll click on column and I'll just say two columns. Okay, now, since this is 100%, we are going to make sure that <clears throat> this is height is 15%. Of the important thing is please read the entire question. Point 20 you can see is place inline style attributes into HTML. So, so that each image that you place uh, fits within the cell uh, with aspect ratio. Please listen to this carefully. Inline styles are these, for example, over here. If I have to place is um, the height 15 person, what I'll do is I'll just come here. Where is this happening? So what we can do is we can simply say over here is um, style, okay, I can define over here is, uh, what is it? Height, so height, I'm sorry, just do it again. So I'd say is, just put the space, the space first height is 15%, okay, put a colon, and then next, what we need is width 60%. And this we will say is style width is 60%. And height is 45%. Right, then we need this high 20%. So I can simply copy this. So this is done, this is done. Right, uh, this is done. First. Windows. With over here. This is as one. This was as one. So it's supposed to be as one. So, okay. Fine. No, no difference. And this is supposed to be as 20%. And this is supposed to be with 30% high 20, with 30 high 20. So I'll just simply copy this so that's just to save time. Thirty by twenty. So thirty by twenty. Right. 
right? Done all this. So we've defined all this. What next we have to do is, so I can preview this in my browser, but obviously right now it will not appear in the right way. We have to insert the images. Next, what we have to do is after we've done all this, um, place Intel 821 banner or JPG. Okay, so but remember, okay, and any alt text, so we do. Uh, all pages must be seen, all text must be read, the address bar will be visible, right? Okay, nothing. So you can put an alternate text for the image as well over here if this is required, okay? And what we'll do is we'll just paste over here, uh, type over here, because um, the type over here is style. Style is equals to percent this will actually make it appear properly so let's see is it or is it not appear properly 100 percent okay one second let me just confirm one more thing we don't need to def define the width and height we just a style Sorry, it's not style, it's just really hard to do. So, style. Width. Perfect. So just one tiny mistake was made me wrong. So we've just posed like style is equals to width 100%. Okay. Uh, in the same manner, we will use this in all the images and the video we have. So I would suggest you to cram it, remember it. Okay. Uh, so the inline style that you have to place for images and the videos uh, so that the image exactly fits the cell uh, width and the height will be just a style is equal to width, which means 100% of the width of the cell that the following image should, should fit in. I mean, we are not defining the width and the height of this image. We're simply saying just 100% exactly fit in in a particular cell. Okay, uh, so in the same way we are supposed to insert over here is, uh, and, uh, and okay, now we have to insert is an MP3. Okay, and this is in cell B, and B is this one. Please listen carefully, very important point. Um, previously, we've been discussing the embedded tag, but no, I'll not prefer using the embedded tag over here. So what we'll do is, I'll uh, simply, uh, wherever this blinky blink is happening. Okay, over here, the width and height. So over here, what we'll do is, uh, let me just make this. So we'll use over here is the video tag. Okay, for the best browsers better, we use the video tag. So video, I can define again the width, 100%. Right. And let's activate the controls. Okay. So I want the controls from here. And using the source tag, we can use the source tag. Uh, source what source do you want to be there? Uh, this. And now I can just type over here is. In case of this scenario, you can type over here your browser does not support this 
So if there is an error, we will get this message. Okay, otherwise we will not. Spoil this video and you can simply close the video back. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see if it's right. Going fine or not. I think it's doing perfect till now. Okay. Um, then what we're supposed to do is we are supposed to insert ABC. Uh, a, B. So C is that. So C is image to one bottles. Same way. Uh, we'll come here. Over here. Right. And the same way we insert this style. Let me just copy it so we can see that. So 21 bottles. So 21 bottles. And we'll make sure we'll be this, the size of this image will be really big. So we'll just click on this and we'll just say, oh, uh, here it is. Is this? Right? What is this? Okay. Um, then we have to place C are done. E is uh, uh, nothing in D. Oh, probably some uh, no nothing in D. D probably some text will go. So E is uh, plastic and sure. So plastic and sure. Let's do that. So we're supposed to have over here is plastic and the same way. And then we have is sure. Right. Uh, in this case, in this particular image. One second, we don't need the height and the width because we have specified as style. Okay. Same width. I don't need to specify the width and the height. So let me preview this in the browser and I'll just explain this again. Until now it's appearing perfectly fine, perfectly fine. I'll tell you what, um, first thing, okay, first thing is whenever you specify, please listen carefully, whenever you specify the image source and you say style is equals to width 100%, why are we doing this? I'll tell you again. The reason why we're doing this is because the examiner said over here was that place inline style attributes into HTML so that each image fits into the width, into the width of the table cell with its aspect ratio maintained. Now, if we, uh, we were just simply um, uh, specify the width as 100% so that it can fit in the, the, the cell. We are not going to define the height and the width, okay? Because then there'll be contradiction, we'll not do that. So no height and the width, in pixels, uh, the question starts with that. They, this, they did mention then the pixel, not in pixels. So just define in with 100%. Um, if you do so, the image will fit in. So we've done, done all that, okay? Um, if you want to adjust your table somewhere in between, you know, to see, you can just um, double click between, you can just double click on the bottle. It will adjust itself. So done with this, and then come to the next point. Okay, uh, done all this place, point 21. Place in cell D, the contents of N21 plastic. So I have over here is N21 plastic. Where do I have to play? Um, let me read again. Display the text as three paragraphs, add a fourth paragraph, the text is. Okay, in D we have to place this entire thing. So, I'm going to place this so D over here, right? And we can have where is the, is the name, center number, and A and B, date, right? 
So uh, set this as H2. So we're going to set this as H2. Right. Done with that. Okay. Um, attach the style sheet and 21 plastic dot to the web page. So I could click on Python. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just go into CSS styles, we're going to attach it was in the same folder, yes it is, and just press OK. See the magic trick? Yes, it's happened. Uh, what else? What else we need is done, done, done. So we done all that. This is perfectly working fine, as you can see. So you can see if this I preview this in the browser, you know how to take the printout of HTML, you know how to take it in the browser. So you can see over here is that this is what we wanted exactly. So it's perfectly working fine. Okay, so um, um, let me repeat again um, the important point. Uh, first is that whenever you have to insert a video for the latest browsers, it's important that you use um, is the following tag, which is the video width. Okay, so specify video. 100% uh, has to be done because well, in, in, in the images and the video, we have to specify video is equal to 100%. Controls, why do I have the controls? Because if I don't have the controls, the video will not play. It will be static. So I have to say control, which means I need the controls to be displayed in my video. And source, this tag is part of your video tag. So I'm specifying the source because I could have multiple sources over here, multiple videos over here. So I'll just specify one, one video. So I'll say source is equals to this. And if you want any error message to be displayed if the video is not being played, you can just have the error message over here. Please, um, I would suggest you to do it again and again and cram it. It's, it's a typical thing coming in these exams, so it can come again. I want you to cram it. Uh, then the next point that we discussed was about the images. If you want the images to appear as per the original size, we will simply specify them with their uh, width. And using the inline style, we say style is equals to width. 100% again, you need to practice it, practice it and practice it yourself so that you know what this is. So it's, it wasn't lengthy. Yes, um, some new tags were introduced. And yes, if you don't know, it can become complicated. Okay, see you till the next class.